Let's work on your punch accuracy. Land at a high percentage. There we go, touch him off. That is beautiful.
Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, if you want to tell me that this particular fighter is on the wrong end of the power equation, I'll give you that. But few guys can match his speed and his footwork. Prevailing wisdom is he'll try to fight on the outside tonight, stick and move a little bit, exceptionally quick on his feet, sets up angles beautifully, manages distance as good as anybody on the roster, knows how to set up his attacks, knows how to stay of his opponent's range, figures to be a big part of the strategy tonight, given the power that's coming back. Apparently, he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp. Very interesting stylistic matchup forthcoming here. You gotta think this fighter is trying to figure out how to get the fight to the ground at all costs to use his beautiful guard cutting ability. Cuts it as well as anybody in this division. And it's not just the technique, it's the athleticism that allows him to be so successful and get that advantageous position on the ground. A lot of guys just haven't seen seamless transitions like the ones brought to the table by this young man. We'll see if this fight goes to the canvas, if he has the advantage we expect him to have. This guy has nasty chokes. His ability to cinch up a choke and finish it from any position is truly elite. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses, one draw, and two no contests. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Magic Man. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go. All right, round one is underway here, and when you can put fighters away the way he is doing, you're gonna position yourself for a UFC title fight, and that has been what he has been talking about this week. He's won his last three fights by submission, a lot of different ways, and if he can submit the fellow Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt here tonight, he would be hard to deny his first crack at a UFC title. He's able to slip the left there. All right, so here we go. First round is underway as a submission specialist. Look for him to go for the early takedown attempt. He's gonna wanna take this fight to the ground, at least at some point, and try to set up a submission. This is a, this is a bit of a chess battle here. <laughs> Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Nice. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Oh, nice uppercut. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Right on the button. Looking to land the leg kick here. Joe misses, though. Timely defense there, huge block for him. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that's a good strike there by Oliver. Just over two minutes now to go. Joe, huge block there, the defense is holding up. Straight right, he misses. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oliveira gets in the clinch again. This has historically been a good position for him. Let's see how he attacks here. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Half guard here. He postures into place. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Oliveira. Looks like he's got a submission locked up. He's got the arm here. Now he's gonna throw his leg over. It looks like he's got the arm bar locked up. Throw the leg over the face. It's very close here. Break the grip. This arm bar is very tight. He may have to tap any second now. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Here we see that again. And let's see if we can get a better look at it from a different angle. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. All right, so second round getting underway here. Competitive first round, Joe. Not necessarily a round of the year per se, but high level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, nice. Oh, good shot. Well, if there was any knock on this guy, it was just that his striking wasn't up to the level of his grappling and his wrestling. So what does he do? He's not resting on his laurels. He changes up from a BJJ-based camp to now a striking gym. And when you talk to his coaches, they believe you will see improvements beginning tonight. He is much more confident on the feet than he ever has been before. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. That one hurt. Doubles up on the jab. Oh, strong punch there by Oliveira. Oh. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. <laughs> He's trying to stay up. here. Excellent movement here on the ground. Nice hammer fist. He takes his back. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's posturing up here. Just over a minute to go round two. Oh, looks like he's going for an arm bar here. How tight is that? He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Look at this, though. Oh! Oh, this is not good at all. Out and there it is. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show, and he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here's the end of the fight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again, 
beautiful submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Magic Man. Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's gonna be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought here tonight. You see how happy his coaches are, his training partners. This is gonna be a fun night for this team and one that they have richly deserved.